Melissa. Rudy. Rudy, no. Welcome back to my farm. <laughs> simple task of feeding seven animals, including a pig that wants to eat everything all the time. Today we're just going to show you what it's like to feed my animals, which is always a little bit more difficult than everybody else feeding their animals. But you need to stay tuned because I am obsessed with food. I'm obsessed with nutrition. I feel like dog food and pig food and cat food is actually medicine. So I want you to comment. Tell me, what are you feeding your animals? What do you want to know about feeding your animals? What kind of ailments do they have? What can you do to help them? Uh, in the future, we're going to do a video specifically talking about different types of foods and what your animals should be eating. But for now, comment, like, subscribe, and... Uh, Let's see what happens. We feed them twice a day. We do morning and we do night. I feed them all together, which is always funny, but I just like to make sure everybody's actually eating their bowls and getting their nutrients. I personally think dogs should be on a raw food diet. Like if you could afford to only feed your dogs uh, a raw, either a freeze dried or a raw that you keep in your freezer, awesome. I have five dogs. I personally think Fromm is one of the best kibbles on the market. Um, it's expensive but worth it. I feel like food isn't as expensive as vet bills, so always feed your dogs really, really well. So we start with the base. We start with this nice prom kibble. Oh God, now Hector's going after something. I don't even know what. Hector! He's in the water bowl. So like, feeding time at my house is just chaos because now Hector's in the water bowls. He's soaked. He's knocking them all over. Rudy's mad. So after the dry food, I put for my dogs every day CBD oil. This CBD oil is by a company called Prana Pets. It's a 300 milligram. Um, each of my dogs should get about a dropper full to a dropper full and a half. Because I feed them together, I put it all in one big bowl and they get what they get. But it's awesome for like skin. It's awesome for digestion issues. It calms them down. Um, it's just an overall amazing healthy thing I think that really all dogs can be on especially because most of my dogs are seniors believe it or not everybody here except for the puppy which is the big lab is over nine so all my dogs are nine to twelve except for Hector who's five months old and gigantic then I put this Ruruva can I do this for flavor because a couple of my dogs are super picky I always use a different flavor I love Ruruva um, it smells and looks like really amazing, great food that people could eat. I personally don't eat meat, but I think that dogs should. Um, I mix it in. This is for all five of them, by the way. Although Hector would eat this whole bowl, I think. Pretty much mixed up right now. So, five bowls. These are the pig bowls. These are the dog bowls. My dogs don't really eat that much, believe it or not, the older ones. The puppy eats like, I mean, he could eat all day. So it probably looks like they're not getting a lot, but they get snacks throughout the day. They get two meals a day and 90% of the time, most of it's left. Um, this is the kibble, the CBD oil and the canned food. Now on top of that, everybody gets some of these raw patties. These raw patties, especially by this company, Small Batch, are insanely amazing. They have all of the organ meat in them from the animal. They have vegetables. Um, they're all humanely raised or organic. Hey, he isn't trying to get your food, Hector. Hector protects his bowls. It's really horrible. Um, so literally, like this right here is a complete diet. It has all of the vitamins and nutrients that your animals need. So I at least try to give each of them one or two per meal just so that they have a little something a little something extra all right so if i put down this dog food without getting rudy's food done first all hell will break loose so let me get rudy's food done as well 
They're really easy. Eggs actually can't eat that much. So all of it is is the Missouri kibble. Each of them, even though they're different sizes, gets half a cup per meal, which I pre-measured out. So I'll put about half in each bowl. Rudy ends up eating like all of it. So poor, poor little Reggie gets the crap end of the stick here. Let me fill this up with a little bit of water. I'll put it down and we'll hope for the best. Pigs will pretty much eat anything. They will even eat other pigs, which is different, but they're not supposed to eat meat. They're vegetarians, they get a lot of fruits and vegetables, um, and they get a really awesome pig food. I personally use Missouri pig food. It's an active adult food, and it has all the greens and nutrients, and then they get lots of snacks, which are vegetables and fruit. Um, my dogs eat from four star which is a grain free food and the thing I love about from is you can actually switch flavors without them getting stomach aches no Rudy 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 come on Reggie your food Rudy uh, you're like scared to get your fingers in there here buddy here I'll put it on the floor here Wrong one. It's the wrong one to mess with. No, Rudy. 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 Sometimes dinner gets cut kind of short because of this dude. Then I have to feed it to them later inside. No, Rudy. It's like a struggle till the end. A struggle till the end. I'm literally sweating. Oh my god. <laughs> so, <laughs> I hope you guys like that. Uh, dinner here or breakfast here can be crazy. We just try to keep everybody safe and happy and make sure everybody gets at least a little bit of their food. I want you guys to subscribe to my channel. I want you to like me on Instagram at Wagmore Hotel or at Wilder's Pets. Uh, we will definitely be putting up more videos about feeding and food and hanging out with this crazy crew of animals and people that I have here at this house. Tell me what you want to see and I hope to see